Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Yeah, Chelsea got banned everywhere they go. UEFA banning Chelsea fans, the Premier League or the FA or whatever organization it is banning Chelsea Football Club. We are the bad guys right now. Everybody want to hit us as hard as they can. But you know what? You're not going to kill us. We are Chelsea Football Club and we will be back very, very soon. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new ownership. Okay? The beads are pouring from right, left, center, everywhere. So on the table right now, if I'm not mistaken, it could be probably 20 bid billionaires getting together to buy Chelsea Football Club. Alright, so we're going to talk about the people choice and the government choice. Does that make sense to anybody? Chelsea fans are the people and the government are getting involved in the sale. But guess what? It's so confusing, okay? Because it's not the person with the most of the money is going to win the bid. Okay? It's going to be somebody that the government will approve for other reasons. So, I always tell you people to keep an open mind when it comes to this because you might be very, very disappointed at the end. At the moment, the people's choice is clear, including me. I want the Saudis, you know, the media group thing to come and buy Chelsea Football Club or the Turkish guy or somebody else that we don't know probably from Dubai or somewhere because I think they are going to value football more than making money, if that makes sense. That is the people's choice. But the government choice could be completely different because they want to see their interest. They, they want to avoid embarrassment or another situation that could happen. So, uh, man, it's a lot of stuff going on here. So, money, 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 money. But at the end of the day, listen, we are Chelsea and we're going to get an owner very soon. Let's now move on to just check some headlines because it's almost impossible for me to structure such a video because as soon as you finish editing the video, everything that you said is already no sense because somebody else is going to contradict everything that you just said. So don't kill the messenger here. Right? I'm just reading what is happening there put it together just in a video to make it easier for us to understand right but it doesn't come from me so let's move on and where are we gonna start okay as per usual everybody if you don't know uh, I have a I have a Twitter and Instagram account it's called the green turf if you can follow your brother out there we can follow each other as per usual and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Because in this channel, still 73% of people not subscribed yet. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just one click away, one second, and you all done. So what are we going to start now is go to somebody who is very controversial first, right? Matt Lowe. I know, I know, I know. Don't kill me. Don't kill the messenger. This guy, Chelsea fans don't like him. Or they are not liking him at the moment because of what he said uh, about Americans. And people are accusing him of getting paid by Americans to promote them. But when he come up, he comes up with, uh, with uh, a news that pleases us. For example, Lampard is going to be sacked in the morning okay everybody called him the goat everybody says such and such when he comes up with uh, 
uh, other news about the transfer that we want to hear. You know, Lukaku is signing tomorrow. Oh, you are the goat. You are the man. Blah, 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 blah. When he comes up with something like Rudiger and the dressing room are not happy. Oh, people want to kill him. And uh, when the same news is reported by other, other, other people, we consider those people. What I want to say is, you're going to believe on you what you want to believe. And you, wanna, you don't want to hear what you don't want to hear. So most of the time, it has nothing to do with Matlo. It has something to do with us. We don't want to hear that. Did that make sense? We don't want to hear that. That doesn't make it fake news, if that makes sense to anybody. So you're going to love the guy who is telling you what you want to hear. And you're going to hate the guy who doesn't tell you what you want to hear. He's supporting Americans. We Chelsea fans don't like Americans. So everything that he will say, even is true, we don't want to hear that and we're going to hate him. But most of the time, this guy is spot on. He tells the truth and sometimes the truth can hurt people. Uh, you know, I'm victim of the situation every single day when people want me to, tell, to lie to them in order for them to be happy. But I don't do that. So in, uh, in, the, in this world, sometimes you have just to know how to manipulate people to be fine with people. But it is what it is. So what Matt Lowe said today, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care about what he said like yesterday and about Harvard. Um, okay, so he's talking about this bid here, right? Uh, he said, Lord Cole and Sir Martin uh, Broughton Consortium are working with banker Michael Klein on financing the bid for Chelsea. Okay, so the Lord, <laughs> after the shake, after the the whatever Al Al whatever you gonna you gonna call, you know, <laughs> that is a joke in the Chelsea community calling like uh, Kai Harvard, Mister Al. Al Harvard <laughs> is a joke, by the way, so don't take it seriously. But the the Lord, <laughs> we, we even have Lord who wanna buy Chelsea Football Club. They are from England, and they might they might get the benefit or the the favors from the U the UK government. Okay, so we have to keep an eye on open on that one. And uh, according to other report, this bid here could include Chelsea fans as um, as what is called as shareholders in the in the company in the Chelsea in the Chelsea Football Club. You know, to ensure that nobody is gonna come and kind of steal the club away from Chelsea. So many. Uh, many people are coming with different strategies to try to convince the government. And I also heard that the government are in charge to make the final decision who is going to buy Chelsea Football Club. After saying that, um, after saying that uh, only Abramovich and his team are allowed to make a choice, now we heard that the government got the, the, the last word, which is really, really weird. So we're going to just read some headlines, people. I don't have to comment on anything because so much going on. It's contradicting each other every single minute. Okay? So I don't know, man. Let's start here. Uh, witness account. The rest to buy Chelsea. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, the male sports say the rest to the rest to buy Chelsea Football Club is regarded as so tight and unpredictable that bookmakers are not even offering a market. That is how tight it is. So if somebody is gonna tell you the Saudi are winning the race, okay? Candy is reading the rest. The Americans are reading leading the rest. No. It's not true, my friend. We have to wait because the deadline is coming soon, tomorrow, Friday, and we're going to know a little bit more. But people are making headlines that please them. 
okay you want to hear that saudis are leading the race or uh, the guy from turkey is leading the race or somebody with more money from somewhere is leading but it won't change the truth at the end of the day i understand that it's still roman club so he decide but the government have the power to veto <laughs> and also get a say wow so because i just read another article saying that the government got like 100 percent power to choose who's gonna uh, buy the club and then immediately after that some other sources are contradicting what we just heard that's why i told you it's all over the place right now you don't know what to believe anymore i am just reading headlines don't shoot the messenger don't kill me i am reading from other people's other sources okay the government have have taken charge you see the same guy okay simon phillips the same guy well it's not the news is not coming from him he's just collecting from different sources and posting on his uh, his page on twitter but you see one minute he say the government have taken charge of chelsea cell and will play a lead role in deciding which bid is selected as preferred option did you see that and then after that he contradicted himself by saying i understand that's still roman club uh, roman uh, roman's club so he decide but the government have the power to veto and also get uh, get a say yeah so uh, like i said man it's, it's so confusing and yeah this video also is so confusing right so i just wanted to tell you that it's, it's still there it's still a lot of load and a lot of people now coming <laughs> coming to chelsea football club um yeah he's talking about uh, thomas Tuko and other 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 people but listen i don't want to take this video to you know <laughs> one hour or so i wanted just to give you an idea what is happening in the chelsea community listen no matter what's gonna happen we are chelsea football club we're gonna get a rich owner <laughs> or rich owners very soon and we will be back in business and get ready okay hear us get ready because we are coming back uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, like this video my friend it doesn't cost you anything but it helps your brother a lot i will see you next time